If you want to run your Flutter application in your real device wirelessly without any cable, first thing you want to do is open command prompt and type in ADB. You can see here I'm getting ADB options, but if you're not getting these options, it means your ADB is not added in environmental path. For that, you have to come to C drive, open users, your username, app data, local, Android folder, SDK, and platform dash tools. Here you can see we have ADB. You can simply copy this path and press Windows and type in env you will get this edit the system environmental variables just open it come to environmental variables here you have the user variables and system variables make sure to come to the system variables and path here edit the path and add this path that you have just copied like here i have added this platform dash tools after adding that you can click ok ok and ok you can close it now you have to restart your command prompt you can either open command prompt from here and type in adb you will get these options Options, or you can type in cmd in run and also type in adb it will work from anywhere because you have added that in system variables now to connect to your android device wirelessly both your laptop and android device should be in the same wi-fi if you're not in the same wi-fi you can simply go to your android device turn on hotspot and then connect your laptop to the same wireless once you have done that you can come back in your settings all the way down in the system below you have developer options in developer options you have to come all the way down down. first you want to turn on this usb debugging then click on wireless debugging and click turn on it will ask for always allow this device and then you can see an ip address and a port number right here open command prompt you can type in adb connect give the ip address of your phone following by port number once you press enter your computer will be connected to your android device wirelessly and here in your vs code you will have your device now you can simply run your application in your device you can see the app is running in my real device wirelessly and I can now do whatever I want with my application and if you want to share your Android screen to your laptop so that you can record just like this you can simply type in connect in your Windows operating system and then go to your Android phone in your Android phone drop down the notification bar and at the bottom you have a screencast you can press and hold that and you will have this setting here if you turn on the cast you will have a list of all the laptops which is in the same network and are available right now and have this connect screen opened you can simply click it and it will cast or share your android screen to your laptop so thank you for watching the video and if you have any other video suggestions be sure to comment and i will try to make another video on that and also don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future and i will see you in the next video